Hello everyone. We all know that um, most kids in class 5 or 6 are still in the habit of doing division in the standard format that is what they are taught in school initially like doing like this. For example this 414 divided by 3 they will write down like this and then start the division procedure writing the quotient each time then subtracting the number and going further. This is a time consuming method. So I have uh, simplified the regular oral method that most elder kids that is kids uh, in class 8 or 9 and above or al might already be doing it. I have just simplified that method so that it can be taught to kids who are just 10 or 11 years old and they can use this method to save time and uh, arrive at the answer much faster with maybe less mistakes as well. So let's start with the method. I have written down five uh, examples here. Uh, some are very easy, three digit divided by one digit and some with a little larger numbers. Okay, let's start with the easy one. 414 divided by 3. So we'll start with the uh, left side. Uh, we can subtract 1 times 3 from this. So we'll write down 1 in the answer. Subtracting 1 times uh, 3 from this 4, we, the number remaining is 1. So we'll write down 1 here. The next number will be this one and the following one that is 11. So uh, 3 times 3 can be subtracted from 11. 3 times 3. So I'll write down 3 here. 3 times 3 is 9. So subtracting 9 from this 11, the number remaining is 2. So I'll write down 2 here. And the final number that we have is 24. So 8 times uh, 3 is 24. So I'll write down 8 in the answer. This 24 is cancelled. The entire number is divided now. And the final answer that we have is 138. Let's look at the next example. The number is 7396 divided by 4. Again, we'll start from the left hand side. The number is 7 here. 1 times 4 can be subtracted from this. We will write down 1 in the answer. Subtracting 4 from this, the number remaining is 3. So the next number becomes 3, 3, that is 33. So 8 times 4, that is 32, can be subtracted from this. 8 times, so I will write down 8 in the answer. Subtract 32 from this. What remains is 1. So the next number we have is 19. So 4 times 4 can be subtracted. So I'll write down 4 in the answer. 4 times 4 is 16. So after subtracting 16, what remains is 3. So the final number that we have is 36, which is 9 times 4. Okay, so 9 will be written in the answer and this 36 is cancelled. The final answer that we have for 7396 divided by 4 is 1849. Coming to the next example, the number is 2, uh, 23,785 divided by 5. So we'll start from the left. 2 is smaller than 5, so we'll consider 23. 4 times 5 can be subtracted from this. So I'll write down 4 in the answer. Subtracting uh, 4 times 5 is 20. So subtracting 20 from this 23, what remains is 3. The next number is 37. So 7 times 5 can be subtracted from it. 7 times 5 is 35. So subtracting 35 from 37, what remains is 2. So the next number that we have is 28. 5 times 5 can be subtracted from this. So 5 times, I am writing down the 5 here. 5 times 5 is 25. So subtracting 25 from 28, what remains is 3. And the final number again we have is 35 so which is 7 times 5 so I have written down 7 the final answer that we have is 4757 seven. as you can see we can uh, do division of even 5 digit divided by 1 digit in a matter of just a few seconds depending on the practice that the kid can do okay with a little bit of practice these kind of sums can he can actually do in a matter of less than 10 seconds very easily Let's look at another example. Here the divisor is 9 this time. The number we have is 51,624. I'll start from the left again. 5 being smaller than 9. I'll take consider the first two digits that is 51. 5 times 9 can be subtracted from this. So I'll write down start the answer with 5. 5 times 9 is 45. So subtracting 45 from 51 what remains is 6. The remainder is 6. So the next number that we have is 66. 
the number that can be subtracted from this is 7 times 9. So I'll write down 7 in the answer. 7 times 9 is 63. So subtracting 63 from 66, what remains is 3. So the next number that we have is 32. 3 times 9 can be subtracted from this. So I'll write down 3 in the answer. 3 times 9 is 27. So subtracting 27 from this 32, what remains is 5. So the final number that we have is 54, which is 6 times 9. So the division is complete. The answer that we have is 5736. Let's look at the final example here. The number this time is a 6 digit number divided by 7. So I'll start with the left leftmost digit this being smaller than the divisor we will consider the first two digits so 7 times 7 can be subtracted from this so I will start the answer with 7 7 times 7 is 49 subtracting 49 from 53 the remainder that we have is 4 okay so for the next number is 47 from this 6 times 7 can be subtracted so I will write down 6 in the answer 6 times 7 is 42. Subtracting 42 from 47, what remains is 5. So the next number we have is 52. From this, again, we can subtract 49, which is 7 times 7. So subtracting 49, we get 3. So the next number that we have is 34. From this, 4 times 7 that is 28 can be subtracted so subtracting 28 what remains is 6 so the final number that we have is 63 which is 9 times 7 so the division is now complete and the answer that we have is 76749 I would request all parents and teachers try to uh, Explain this method to kids who are in class 5 or class 6 or even class 7 so that they can save time while dividing any 3 digit or 4 digit or even 5 digit or 6 digit numbers by the 1 digit divisors or even with 2 digit divisors for which the tables they, uh, they already know that they have already by hearted the tables. Okay, this the kind of method, this division method can be easily uh, used by them to save a lot of time. I hope uh, this, this is found useful by many kids and many teachers as well. If you have any feedback, please do mention it in the comments. I would love to read them. Thank you.